Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at the Saraxian, is that how you pronounce it? 5 volt 3 pin ARGB controller, built in light mode and it's powered by SATA in your, mother, in your case, your power supply unit. Right, so this is it. Um, so I bought this because my motherboard does not support 3 pin. So now I wasn't going to originally do all this RGB because I bought a fan. I did not understand it too well. I thought, you know, RGB fan or LED fans just plug into your um, motherboard's header like a traditional LED fan. I didn't know it needed additional um, connections and all that. So I'm learning about this still. So I've just bought this because, my, as I said, my motherboard does not support the free pin ARGB so I've got this for £8.99 is that a little bit steep? I don't know but I've seen controllers for at least about £17 or £18 um, so okay let's get this out of the packaging okay I thought it was a bag that you had to split open but you don't it's one of them like those zip bag type of things, so it opens no problem. So here's the unit. So you've got MSC. So obviously going to read all that. So that cycles through your RGBs. So it's a little controller, so it's got pre-programmed um, settings. Cool Moon. What's that all about? Cool Moon. Right, made, model, model, oh right, where's that made, of course it's made in China, of course it is, so, didn't come from China, um, so, so here is a free pin, so that's where you connect a fan, or I think you can daisy chain more fans, but I don't know how many, um, so that plugs into a SATA port on your power supply, and that's it really. I will have to give give a demonstration. It feels very, well, I don't know, it feels very cheap and yeah, cables feel a bit, they could break. Uh, now the problem with this, if it's in your motherboard, you ain't going to be out of control I think. Um, so it is I know you can buy um, better ones than this, and I do believe you can use a reset switch. If it's in your motherboard, you can use a reset switch on your computer case, rewire it, and it you can cycle through the different modes it's got. But this ain't got that. Or you can get ones with remote controls. I'll say, I'm all new to all this RGB stuff, so I, I am still learning. But feels very cheap um, considering the fans I've got are quite high quality feel quite high quality and this just feels absolutely cheap and nasty but I will be giving a demonstration right there's our glorious test computer and here is the module so this is what we're going to test first so let's uh, get that in position and let's switch on the computer. Well, that's revving up a bit, but ignore that. Right, okay. Well, I'm glad to tell you that the fan is working, the fan is spinning. Um, so let's review this, ignore that beep, that's the PC starting up. So, oh, right, the M changes the colours. Right, the S. Oh, what the S is doing? Right, I think the speed. Yeah, right. I'm. I'm just going to point you to the um, to the fan. So that's the fan spinning. I'm going to turn off the light. If you can notice that. The light is off. Shut the curtain a bit. So 
Um, so right, so the M button, this is what the M button's doing. Just changes the cycle of the fan, I think. Well, like that. So it looks very nice. Now, the, the fan I'm testing is the Air, Aero Cool Duo 12. This is the 120 centimetre one. And 120 millimetre, 20 centimetre. So this is what the M button's doing. So it's rather bright. So I don't know what that one in the middle does. So the C button I think it just changes the colour but then it cycles through so you can choose I think that just you can choose the colour but it's just cycle. I think this one Oh, I like that. That looks rather nice. So, yeah, so this is the module. So, this, this, even though it does look a bit, little bit flimsy, let's get that in front of it, so it's supposed to be turning on the light. Um, it does the, it does the job. It does the job. Um, if you don't want to spend a fortune on RGB controllers, this will do a job. Um, I'm you can probably um, connect more fans, but I don't really want to charge it, chance it, because that's why I bought the the hub. Yeah, so for nine quid, it does the job. Cool moon, yeah, yeah. I, I certainly would possibly recommend it. <laughs> Let's see how long it lasts. Um, but but the, the only thing I, I said is going in your case. So you won't be able to change it. This is the problem. So maybe go for a remote control one or something like that. Because you're going to have to keep opening your case. Unless you can somehow tack it on the outside. Maybe. And you might have... You know, cases do have these um, holes in them. So you can possibly mount it somehow on the outside. Now it don't come with no adhesive or nothing like that with this. So you probably have to provide... That yourself or you will if you can mount it properly anyway thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye